Hi Shining Stars! Welcome back to today's video. Today I'm going to be playing Sneaky Sasquatch and telling you about the time when I re ripped my ACL. Okay, so, it was a normal day and, you know, I just went over to my soccer, indoor soccer, and we were playing soccer and for some reason I had got the ball and everybody was on the opposite side I think that they were looking for the ball, they just couldn't find where it was. Because, you know kids, they like to hurdle up in a big circle, and then they can't see anything that much. Well, they can't see anything, I don't know why I added that much. Anyways, and so I was over there with the ball, there was like one person guarding, she wasn't really doing anything, and then there was the goalie. So I planted my f left foot and then planted my other right foot. And as I turned to kick it with my right foot, Banshee screams. Like, I'm talking this hurt like hedge. So I was just like screaming and crying. And so I was like, um... Then my mom thought that I was overreacting because I overreacted a lot. But this time I wasn't. And so there was a mom there who was a doctor or a nurse. I don't know which one. And she asked me where it hurt. I pointed to my left knee. And she said, right here? And I was like, yeah. And she felt it and I was like, no, she was like, it's just a bruised tissue. She'll be fine. And so... A week or two had passed, I had been in gymnastics, and I had gone to recess every day. Almost every single day this happened. Not Banshee screams anymore, but you know, the first or second time it happened, my mom, the second time it happened, my mom took me to the doctor's office, and she said that it's just bruised tissue, I'll be fine. Just don't let me go on the trampoline or anything. So I did it. My mom told me not to jump from high places, and I did it. Now, when we were running and playing tag, I would get hurt, and I could feel it, and it hurt. But it wasn't bad to make me stop playing, so I just sat down for like a minute or two, then I continued. But one day, I was on the playground, and there were these steps that were a little bit higher. Like, you had to kind of push yourself on it. And, um, you know, swerve your leg and all that. So, there was also a pole connected where you could slide down. And I was like, okay, I kind of want to do that. But I was like, I don't really want to get burned from the pole. So, I decided to get down. I was, I would just, um, get down slowly and carefully. So, I did. I, you know, did the, um, sit on your butt, then slide then like slowly slide off and pain now one of the kids in our class was really nice and he saw me and he knew that I had in the class knew that I had um that thing happened to me so they said um the teacher I think she said to make sure not to push me over or anything just be extra careful and so he came over, and he saw me in distress, and he was like, do you need help walking? And I said, no, I don't think so. But then, a second later, I was trying, and I just couldn't put weight on it. It felt like I was, my limb was about to break whenever I put weight on it. So I said, actually, I do need help. So he came over, and he took me to the, like, teacher's hut area. It was just like a little sitting area. And he brought me to our teacher. Um, let's call her Miss M. And so Miss M saw me and she knew, and this had been happening a bit. And she was like, <sighs> and she rolled her eyes. Which, by the way, Miss M was about the best, was one of the best teachers I have ever had. So don't get her wrong. It's just because sometimes I could overreact. And she said, um, to let me sit down, and I almost fell down, and so she had to call in the nurse and get me the wheelchair. Now, when they brought me in from recess and all the other kids, the kids were like, what's happened to Paige? 
And then one of my best friends there, which, by the way, she got held back. And so the next year she acted like she never knew me. I was really nice to her, but she she just acted like I didn't exist. So good vibes. And she was like, what are you, what happened? And I'm like, my knee. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. I had a tear in my eye. And then, so my mom come to pick me up and she's like, okay, we're heading to the doctors. And the lady said, it's just a bruised tissue. And she was like, no, I need an x-ray. So after about 30 minutes of just back and forth, no, I need an x-ray. Like, we need to get her some real help, because if it was normal, then this wouldn't have been happening. So, she finally gave in, and they gave me an x-ray, and she came, then she sat us back down in the room, and about five minutes later, she came in, and she had a shocked face. She was like, turns out she ripped her ACL, and a bit of her MCL too. ACL and MCL are kind of like the things that tie your limbs together, I think. I don't really know. I'm not an expert. So we set a date for the surgery where they would have to fix it, you know, tie it back and all that. And he said that uh, they're only going to have to do like three stitches. Now, guess what? Guess how many stitches I got? Six. There was one on my upper um, thigh, on the side. Then there's like about four on my knee. And then there's one lower that's a little bit longer. And so surgery happened. And then I was in the hospital and I was... it. You could say I was... I was drugged, okay? Like, I was... It's like anesthesia. I was just like, whenever they brought me to the room to eat something, which by the way, I had to go to multiple doctors. I had to go to a children's hospital in South Dakota, and it took me about maybe two hours. It took about two hours to get there. So yay, road trip vibes. And, um, So, I was just, so, multiple things happened. The doctor, finally, it was the day, under anesthesia, back to where we are, when it's time to eat. And, um, so, I had gotten pizza and a soda. And, um, the doc, and I was so, like, drugged, which, by the way, not, like, actual drugs, just anesthesia. That I couldn't really even eat my pizza. So we saved it for whenever we got home. Well, to the hotel. Because I had to stay there for about a week. And, um, I, no. So the teach, so the guy, because I was still in the hospital, I think, maybe. Let's just say it was. Um, he had to, like, there was something in my knee, I think. It was, like, uh, I don't know, but it was kind of like keeping my blood sugar or something. I really don't know. Um, But think of it like a piece of paper, like you're ripping out a towel from the dispenser. He had to do that to me. So he put on a puppet show, and then while I was giggling and laughing, he ripped it out, and I screamed. So about... So later on, for some reason, whenever I walked, I was afraid to walk on my toe, on my actual foot. I don't know why, but it was just something that I was afraid of. And so I was just on my left toe, you know, like that. Then when we got home, a couple weeks later, I was still doing that. My dad said, it's like I have to reteach you to walk. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm scared. And so I finally walked on it, and he's like, oh, it doesn't even hurt. And he's like, see, I told you, you were just overreacting. It's just a fear that you shouldn't have even had. He's like, I know. But, um, yeah. So now, today, 
I still have six stitch scars and one of them on my on the right side of it on the side of the left knee on the right side of the left knee I had gotten a stitch there and it had gotten infected so we had to wash it and I had to sit in the shower with you know a chair and my mom would have to clean it for me and and by the way, I also had to use a leg brace, which was not fun. I hated it. And the, oop, excuse me. You know how kids like to play with crutches? Well, when you actually have to use them, is like walk from a parking lot to another place. It is annoying. Like it like I would have to stop and wait every now and then, take a breath. This was hardcore stuff. I think the best thing that I got out of this was that I had really wanted Build-A-Bear. So, um, we were going to South Dakota anyways, and that's where Build-A-Bear was. So I got to have Build-A-Bear! Yay! One thing good came out of that. And, yeah. I think I got maybe, like, two or three build bears I'm a spoiled child. Anyways, yeah, that's about my story. There's a bit left on this my movie or clip, so I'll just add some music to it, you know, let you guys chill, but um, I'm already somewhere, by the way, off story topic. Um, in Sneaky Sasquatch, I had since I just started this channel. Um, it's been a while since I've played it. Well, not a while. So I've been like getting really into it. I've already gotten all the treasure map pieces. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye.